Be honest with yourself. When the topic of honesty comes up, the general tendency is to think about our relationship with others. We understand the need to be honest with people. If you cannot trust your neighbor to say the truth, and your neighbor can't trust you to say the truth, what sort of social life will that produce? If parents don't trust children, and children don't trust parents, what sort of family life will result? It is understandable then why we have to be honest with each other. Honesty with yourself beyond honesty with others. However, have you ever considered that your first responsibility is to be honest with yourself? If you cannot be honest with yourself, how can you be honest with others? If you can't confront the reality of your own life, how will you confront the realities of the lives of others? If you cannot face the truth about yourself, how can you tell the truth to others? The best you can be will be a hypocrite who can remove the speck of dust in the eyes of others without regards for the log of wood in his own eyes. Honesty with yourself is a way of life you have to master if you want to become the person you want to be. There are four areas where you need to be honest with yourself if you are to make progress in life. Be honest about your strengths. The first step to improvement and progress in life is critical self-assessment. If you're not honest about what you can do and can't do, you will never improve. Be honest enough to admit what your strengths are. There are two errors you need to avoid. First is to understate your strengths to reduce your responsibility. Second is to overstate your strengths to make yourself look good. It is by taking up responsibilities that are in tandem with our strengths that we grow and become better. Understating your strengths may make your life easier, but it will never help you become better. Progress in life comes when we take responsibilities as much as our strengths and we go through constant practice. However, it is important not to overstate your strengths. When you overstate your strengths, you lose the opportunity to actually improve and increase your strengths. The fake can never compare with the real. A strength you disguise to look good and learned will never serve you in the long term compared to a strength you actually developed. Do you want to grow and become the best version of yourself? Be honest about your strengths. Don't overstate it and don't understate it. Be honest about your weaknesses. This is where you need to be brutally honest with yourself. We all have weaknesses. There's a great strength in admitting our weaknesses. It provides opportunities to grow. However, just like your strengths, don't underestimate your weaknesses and don't overestimate them. When you overestimate your weaknesses, you'll become too harsh with yourself and miss many opportunities thinking you cannot do it when you can. There's nothing more sad and backward than thinking you cannot when you can. On the other hand, when you underestimate your weaknesses, you deceive yourself and miss opportunities to turn your weaknesses into strengths. The other problem is that people who are not honest about their weaknesses tend to have problems in their social relationships. Be honest about your weaknesses. Be honest about your goals. Your goals are valid, but not all of them are valid now or in the next five years. Be honest about what you can achieve now, what you can achieve in the next five years and in the next 20 years. It is a waste of time and strength when you seek to achieve a five-year goal in six months or a six-month goal in five years. Honesty about your capacities and priorities will help you to live an ordered life where you can have short-term, medium-term, and long-term goals. When you are dishonest with yourself, you become anxious and forget that life is meant to be lived in stages and what you do in a year is not what defines your entire life. It allows you to take the long-term view and live life step by step, like a man climbing a ladder. Honesty with others. 
When you have learned to be honest about your strengths, weaknesses, and goals, then you can be honest with others. You cannot give what you don't have. Imagine your life is perfect in every aspect. What would it look like? Unless you're willing to accept average or mediocrity, then this is one thing that you're going to have to do in order for you to have what you truly want. Keep going and never quit. It is hard being a high performance person, I know. But is it rewarding and worth it? Yes, it is. So do what you have to do now. Do not procrastinate. Do not quit. Do not push it to some time later. There is never an easy time to make a hard decision. Do it now. In the military, you're told that time costs lives. In the cooperate world, you're told time costs money. I tell you, time costs everything. Your dreams, your goals, your aspirations. They require your time. Those times you spend brooding, saying, why did this have to happen to me? The time you spend being overwhelmed and sorry for yourself. That time costs you everything. Each moment you stay stagnant instead of doing the things you know you should be doing today so that you can be where you want to be tomorrow. You shift your goals by a few months or even years. Time costs everything, so don't waste it doing nothing. Use it to do what needs to be done and don't quit at it. Spend your time doing what most people don't want to do, that they know they have to do to be where they want to be. It's the drive that gets you going. The will to succeed is inside of you. You just have to turn your will into actions in everything around you. In school, at work, at the gym, in your relationship. Find what you know you love and are willing to die for then work so hard at it and never give up. There should exist in you the perseverance to face your challenges head on. You must face your difficulties. Stop feeling sorry for yourself, drowning in a limbo of uncertainty and self-doubt. Tell me one successful person you know that such an attitude has helped in going on to achieve great things. That's right, none. If you know in your heart of hearts that you really want something, and when you envision this goal, this dream, it gives you a sense of fulfillment, then again, I ask of you, do not give up on it. Inevitably, sometimes you will fail at something, but don't be afraid. Failure is part of living. Winston Churchill said, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. If you must fall, fall forward. Because when you fall forward, you keep going. No smooth sea ever made a skilled sailor. So when those stormy days come, and mind you, they will come, don't go about feeling overwhelmed or sorry for yourself. Always keep yourself going. Keep challenging yourself. Know that the world is not a fair place and that those who made something out of their lives were never quitters. They were those who, against all odds, said to themselves, I am a winner. I am amazing. What I am going through does not define me, but instead is shaping me for the glory that awaits me. They are the ones that never quit. Every failed project is one step closer to your goal. If you doubt this, think about J.K. Rowling, the author of the Harry Potter series. She got rejected by 12 publishers. Everybody laughed at her for her ideas, but she kept going. She didn't give up. She kept working hard to get a chance. Today, her doggedness has made her arguably the biggest author of all time. She did it. Remember this, the only thing that comes from quitting is knowing you didn't finish. Understand that your feelings would not give you results. Your principles and your attitude, however, come with a promise. You do not get in life what you want. You get in life what you fight for. 
you must program your mind to be resilient, to be dogged, a fighter, not a loser, not to give up, and importantly, never quit. Because whatever it is that you're going to do, you must understand that there will always be risks. And risks are a necessary component of progress. One day you will wake up and there won't be any more time to do the things you've always wanted to do. You have to act now. There is no better time. Don't wait till you get that paycheck. Don't wait till you get married and start having kids. Get up. Tell yourself you have to act now. Know that the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, and the second best time is now. You have what it takes. You just have to believe in your own capabilities. What are you doing? Are you wasting your time? Time is precious, and it has more value than most invest in it. Act in the now. Use your time and energy wisely. The clock is ticking away. Tell yourself that I will act now. Your dreams are worthless if you don't work on them. If you don't take the time to take those actions that will bring your goals to fruition. Remind yourself, I will act now. I will act in the moment. The time is right. My procrastination, which has held me back, was born of fear, and now I recognize that each time I procrastinate, I lose valuable time that I can never get back again. Now I know that to conquer fear, I must always act in the moment of time without hesitation. I will act now. I will never quit till I get what it is I want. Repeat these things to yourself again and again and again and you'll see a change in what you do with your life. At the end of the day, all you need is hope and strength. Hope that it will get better and strength to hold on until it does. You are unstoppable if you believe. So, live your life with passion and drive. Decide you have to push yourself. Stay tough, stay strong, stay positive. Never give up. And I promise you, you will make it to the mountaintop. For all of those who want to give up, don't give up now. You are closer than you think. Fight for your dreams, for your life, and for who you aspire to be. Learn, grow, share and meet people, but always push yourself. When you believe in you, no mountain is too tall. When you believe in you, no problem is too big. When you believe in you, there is no obstacle you can't overcome. When you believe in you, the can't is replaced with can. When you believe in you, there is nothing you can't achieve. And when you believe in you, you are only limited by the vision you dare to dream. I am proud of who I am. Every thought creates an action that will create a consequence. There are a lot of things that are beyond our control. But what you do have control over is how you react to whatever happens in your life. I certainly consider myself to be a blessed person, but you know what the thing is, people don't even get this. The chances of coming out of Mississippi in 1954. Let's paint that picture, will you? Mississippi, in the time I was born, was the most racist state in the United States. You don't want to be caught after dark if you're a black person in Mississippi. It had absolutely no regard for your humanity. Didn't even think you were human. The fact that I could be born at that time 
And now, do what I do, am who I am, live where I live, is the most extraordinary story I, I, can, I can ever imagine. I don't know anything more extraordinary. Who I am was defined for me at a very early age. When I was four years old, I remember watching my grandmother boiling clothes. I was standing on the back porch, looking through the screen. And my grandmother was hanging clothes from the line. She had an apron around her waist, and inside the waist pocket were clothespins. We had no running water or electricity. So in order to wash your clothes, you had to wash them. And my grandmother did in a big boiling pot. She would boil them to boil the clothes clean. And as she would hang the clothes on the line and take the clothespins out of her pocket and then put a couple in her mouth to hold, she turned to me and said, Obergale, talking through the clothespins in her mouth. Obergale, my middle name, you better watch me now. Because one day you're going to have to learn how to do this for yourself. And a voice inside me, a feeling, uh, I think of it now as a voice because it was so strong, said, no, Grandmama, I won't. And I felt in that moment watching her that this will not be my life. My grandmother's dream for me, as was all of my relatives who were my caretakers, their dream for me was that I would be like them. My grandmother was a maid. My mother was a maid. All of my aunts were maids. And so they thought that that's what I would be. And my grandmother used to work for a family, a white family, and in taking care of their children and nurturing that family, she thought that they were good white folks. And she used to say to me, I hope you can grow up and get yourself some good white folks. In those days, being good simply meant you don't call me the N-word, you give me some level of respect, I still have to go to the back door, and I'm still treated as a second-class citizen, but I'm not degraded personally by you. So she wanted me to grow up to have some good white folks, and I often think that I wish she had seen that I did grow up to get a lot of good white folks working for me. She would not have believed it. The life that I live, my grandmother would not have imagined possible for, for me. There is a flow. There's an energy field and a flow. That is also happening with us as human beings. We just haven't figured out what that is yet or how to channel it. But that is definitely going on. There's an energy field. There's an energy flow that I strongly feel in my own life. And I know lots of other people who do. You're either in flow or out of it. And if you're in flow, it's like this. It's like this. All the time, it's like this. It's like flowing with the stream. And the flow is in direct proportion to the center of yourself where God abides, where universal energy abides, where the divine within you abides. How far you are from the center, from the divineness of yourself, from your connection to source energy, that which created you, is how out of sync you are with your life, regardless of what you call it. When you can align with that, nobody can touch you. Gary Zukov calls that authentic power. In his book, Seed of the Soul, he says, when your personality comes to serve the energy of your soul, that is authentic power. And that's the only real power there is, because you're going to lose everything else. I don't care how beautiful you are. One day, your breasts are going to sag, and your eyes are going to bag, and you're not going to be as beautiful. And it doesn't matter how much Botox and how many times you get yourself pulled up and how many hairdos and how many makeovers or what you do, you know, that doesn't last. It's just like the most beautiful flowering tree. Everything passes and it's time. It doesn't matter how much money you have, how much power you have, how high you sit on the Forbes list, 
how many times you make the most influential lists, all of that changes. All of that changes. But what is real, what is lasting, is who you are and what you were meant to bring. What is the gift you were meant to give? And nobody can take that away from you. In life, nothing comes to us for free. We have to earn it either with our actions or our hard work. When we first begin, we begin with nothing. But it's what we make of ourselves over time that determines whether we are worth it or not. To become noticeable to people, we need to earn their interest. We need to enhance our capability to grow beyond our comfort zone in order to reach great results. To become great in front of others, we need to become great in our own eyes first. To become important to the world, you need to grow into an influential person. You need to gain so much knowledge that people get shocked when they hear your answers. You need to have faith and become so confident in yourself and your work that people get impressed and trust you without having to see your work. To earn a name for yourself, you need to do the hard work and reach great heights. To not be ignored by others, you need to outgrow yourself and show such results that would shock people. Show results that make people think of you when something comes up or if they need help. Become such a person for people who is always there, who has the knowledge to be able to help better than anyone else. Push yourself to become the person that you are destined to become because that's the only way how you will be able to achieve great results. You need to master the field that you are working in. To become the master, the leader of your team, become a leader that everyone can look up to and give examples of when you're not around. You need to take advantage of every opportunity to reach for success. Take a look at yourself and become the person that you would look up to. Because if you can't look up to yourself, then how do you expect others to? So grow, learn, and achieve. Become someone so big that when people hear your name, they already know you. Instead of spending time worrying about what others think, utilize that time to work hard and achieve your goal. To build a reputation around your workplace, you need to become someone that everyone can depend on. Also, to become noticeable, you don't just need action or words, but the way you dress matters too. Dress to impress, because at the end of the day, you don't want to give people a chance to find something negative about you. You need to live up to your expectations and work the part as well as look the part to become a leader. Leadership skills are not found in everyone. So show them, show everyone that you've got what it takes to become a leader. Show them that you have the potential to help them reach great heights. But above all, be nice to everyone because in the end, the one thing that matters most is your personality and the way you treat others. So be kind, especially to those who make mistakes and help them, guide them on how to do things right Make them feel that there is someone who they can depend on. Never lose focus, even when talking to someone. Don't get distracted by anything and stop listening. Nothing will make them lose respect faster than feeling like you're not listening to them. So to get respect from people, you need to hear what they have to say. Earning someone's respect can be hard, but if you do all the right things, they lead to a successful result. You need to own up to your own mistakes and try to fix them because admitting your mistakes shows that you're confident enough to face the outcome. You need to improve and grow yourself by regularly seeking out feedback from everyone around you because this will show them that you don't think you're perfect and that's a trait many people respect. Have an opinion of your own on things. Don't just take what everyone throws at you but give them a piece of your mind and make them know that yes, you can lead the team well. You have the brains and the potential of becoming a leader and earning their respect. 
because you can't buy people's respect. You have to earn it by working hard and respecting others too. You need to respect them in order to receive their respect back. Many people think that leaders are born this way and that they don't have to spend time and effort to develop their leadership skills, when in reality, this is far from the truth. In reality, you need to work for everything that you want. You want to become a leader, you need to earn it by doing things beyond the ordinary. You need to think outside the box and do something great to get people's attention. If you do what everyone else does, they will just ignore you as a normal person. But do something great and they will look at you, think of you in times of need, and never ignore you. If you want people to think of you as a leader, it would be wiser to show them through your actions what they will get in their leader. There's a saying, praise in public and correct in private. Always follow this saying. By humiliating others in public, you won't get anything but hate. Whereas, when you tell them what they did wrong in private, they feel more respect for you. Make your team members feel important. Listen to what everyone has to say and show interest in what they're saying. Because leadership is not about the leader, it's about the followers. There's people who want to become leaders just like you and they're going to make it hard for you. But you have to step in and show them that it's as important to you as your own life. Show them that you aren't going anywhere and that you will work twice as hard as them to become the leader.